Movement by desert organisms can be seen as one broad category of desert adaptation. In this video we're going to look at how organisms, different organisms in deserts, use movement in different ways to survive deserts. There are many, many arid regions around the world, and I'm sure in each one there are multiple interesting ways in which movement is used as desert adaptation. But my examples will come specifically from the desert areas in southern Africa. This region, the southwest arid zone, I've spoken about before, but most of my examples will come from the Namib Desert in Namibia. If you're unfamiliar with the Namib, I've covered the Namib Desert in several videos. One of the main interesting things about the Namib is that it's very, very narrow. It's long and narrow, so about 2,000 kilometers north to south, depending on where you draw the, the, the limits of the desert. But it's only 100 to 150 kilometers east to west. And on top of that, there's a very steep rainfall gradient. So in other words, some parts of the desert, as you go east-west, have more or less rainfall. Because of this type of condition, the Namib especially has a great importance of movement for animals because you can go from an area that's fairly dry to an area that's fairly well less dry over a short period of time. Firstly, I'm going to categorize the different types of movement that organisms use as a survival mechanism. When we talk about animals that move, often we think of migration, where animals have a regular pattern where they move from one area to another. In desert areas, this isn't that common. Generally, we can refer to the type of movement that they use more as nomadism, where they follow favorable conditions rather than a specific seasonal movement pattern. Nomadic desert animals include many of the large mammals that would survive in deserts, for example springbuck and Hartman's mountain zebra, and also many birds will fly in and out of deserts. Movement as desert adaptation functions in a very simple way. Essentially, movement allows animals to go to places where there are resources on which they can live and move out when those resources become too limited or the competition becomes too high for those resources. So it's a very, very simple, simple strategy. But simpleness doesn't mean that it's not very effective. There are many animals that are able to go into the desert and live for periods of time deep within the desert and then leave again. And if it wasn't for that ability to move in and out, they simply wouldn't be considered to be desert animals at all. The flip side of it is also true. Many desert areas might not have as much life in them if it wasn't for this ability for many of the organisms that come into and leave the desert from being able to do that movement. If they can't get in and out of the desert, uh, they might never be in the desert at all. So it's it's vitally important to the whole range of animals that can be found in any particular desert area. And I think for the Namib as this very narrow desert, it's particularly important. Movement might be very simple, but it doesn't mean that it's easy. In actual fact, it's a very challenging thing to do. The one thing is that animals need to know when those resources for which they are aiming for the place that they're going, uh, that those resources are there. If an animal is moving into an area where it's expecting grass to have grown, it needs to have some level of sureness that the grass is there. Otherwise, it's uh, potentially going to lose its life. So it's very important that these systems function well, that animals know when and how to move. The other challenge is just exposing them to predators. So many things like birds or, or some of the mammals that make fairly large mo movements become fairly predictable. And this allows predators to take advantage of, of these big movements. Aside from the normal challenges that nature uh, puts on movement, in the modern era there are lots of new challenges that have come about. The one is that the, the impact of climate change is really massive in desert areas. 
because animals that need to move in to a resource that they normally would be able to rely on now have less reliance on it so uh, you know conditions become less and less predictable and that affects these carefully orchestrated movement patterns another big challenge in southern africa in, in namibia especially for animals moving east west into and out of the desert is um, is fences and other barriers but particularly fences many farming areas will put up fences and so many animals that would normally move in and out of desert areas are hampered from making these movements to, to a very large extent sometimes animals might spend days or weeks by fences where they're just trying to move through that's it for movement it's a very simple concept in the coming videos there's a couple more introductory topics that i want to cover and then eventually i'll start talking about more specific animals and the ways that individual really interesting organisms are adapted to surviving in the deserts Thank you.